In this Rhino tutorial, we'll learn how to use the Morph. Basically, the tool um, lets you take an object. So this is a mesh. It could be a surface, but mesh is lighter. And it lets you propagate it. So it's like a duplicate along surface. It, it lets you morph it into a surface. And because we have a surface, um, we have U and V. So we have a line going this way and line going this way. So the first thing I'll be doing, I'll be getting a surface node to bring the surface in. So I select my surface, right click, set one surface. So now it's green, it means it's connected. So this is this. We'll do the same with the mesh. We'll get a mesh node. Make sure the mesh object is selected. Set one mesh. Voila. So they are both connected. So the, f the first thing we'll do, we'll do, we'll take a divide domain. And it's to divide this one, domain square. And this is to divide this one into U and V, so into uh, uh, the line going up and the line going around. So I'll plug this into the index and here I'll need slider for my line so we could go maybe 2 to 50 and we'll copy it. So Alt, click and drag. Uh, click on it, then Alt. We plug them to the UNV. Uh, and this will get connected to the surface box. So S box. Uh, the surface box, basically it's like a bonding box that's going to include the whole surface. And we need this um, to get the morph to work. So we'll plug this here, and it'll give us also a height value. So we'll just go one for the height. Voila. And the surface is this one. So now I can go like this. And you see, I can actually, so I have a bonding box that include my surface and I can uh, add lines going uh, both ways. So I think I was using six or eight, we'll, we'll see, and 40. So now I need my mesh. So this is the first block. This is basically our surface. Um, so this, the surface box, is like a bonding box that includes the whole surface. This let us divide the surface both way and the height if we need to move up and down the mesh. Then we need um, an, uh, the B box, bonding box. So bonding box is similar to, uh, to surface box, but it's going to be for the mesh. So we, we get a bonding box, connect the mesh to the curve, and finally, we get the morph. And that's it. We'll be ready. So it's called a box morph. And uh, we'll get the mesh into the morph. Um, the reference will be the B box, the bonding box. So that's the size of the mesh. That's what encapsulates the mesh. And the T. is the target. So the target is this. So now as we can see, uh, our box is duplicated everywhere. And we could ask for less or more. I think I was using six. And I think I was using 40, a little bit more, like 40 something, 48. 
and when I'm happy with the result I can right click bake voila and now that it's baked we don't even need this one so I could hide or delete this okay and uh, I hope that you found this tutorial useful we could give thickness to the surface for sure that's uh, the only thing we're missing now so we could do an offset surf and go inward so the distance will be flipped because we want to go inside and I don't know how big will be one. Let's try one. Maybe a bit too thick one. So let's redo it. Control Z, enter to redo. And here we'll go 0.35. Enter. Voila. 